So in this video, let's learn how to record a online uh, meeting in Microsoft Teams and share that file with not just your participants of the meeting, but with your rest of the organization or whoever it may be within the organization. So uh, here I am on uh, the Microsoft Teams uh, interface. I'm actually using the browser version for this uh, tutorial, but I'll just go ahead quickly and have a start a meeting. I'm going to start a meeting by, by all by myself. So I'm just going to go ahead and Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to go and start the meeting. And uh, I've started the meeting and all you have to do once the meeting has been started, you just click on the three dots and click the the start recording. And mind you, uh, the meeting experience is slightly changing with the new releases of Microsoft Teams. So when it when does when when the new at meeting experience hits the general availability, I'll make a different tutorial now or at that time. But for now, you can actually see uh, once the recording has been started, you get a notification saying that, you know, like a privacy notice saying that you've been recorded and so on. So you can just go ahead and dismiss that. Once uh, you're finished with the meeting, uh, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording. And remember, with, with uh, recording online meetings, only the participants who are part of your organization can record uh, with a valid Microsoft Stream license. Can record or or, or stop the recording of, of your uh, of your meeting. Any external participants they can't start or stop the recording. Uh, however, they get notified if when when a recording gets started by one of your uh, participants from your organization. So now uh, when the meeting has has been recorded, uh, if I just go ahead and cancel the, uh, the finish of the meeting, you'll actually get a notification here saying that uh, the recording has stopped, saving recording to Microsoft Stream. It'll take a little while. Uh, based depending on the time, you know, the length of the recording, of course, the length of the meeting, it, it's going to uh, take some time for the recording to get through to uh, get stored back into your Microsoft stream. So uh, for the sake of the tutorial, I'm, I've, I already have an existing video uh, that I've uh, recorded and uh, stored back into Microsoft stream, right? So now what you if you want now, this link is accessible by anyone who is participant of that uh, meeting uh, from their Microsoft Teams interface itself, right? However, let's say you you had like you know three people from marketing had a meeting and they wanted to share this video with the rest of the marketing group. How do they do that? So you would just go into the back end of your Microsoft Stream and click on the three dots, and you would just say Add to Group slash Channel. And now you can actually see because I, I had the meeting by all by myself, you can only see my name in there, right? But if I just go ahead and actually you can select uh, individual people. So in this case, let's say I'm going to pick Megan and search for Megan. And then I can go and share the video, in, include Megan in the, in the, in, uh, and give her the ownership or just display access, right? So in this case, I don't want to just share with Megan. Instead, I want to share with the whole marketing team. So you just go and click on my groups and I'm already part of the marketing team. I'll just go and click on marketing. And uh, you, you see the marketing group, uh, the Microsoft uh, 365 group got selected. And now, you know, you either give all the part, uh, the the members of, of uh, the marketing, you make them the owner or you just give them the display access, right? You just give them the display, why not? And click save. And now, if I just go into the groups and go to find the marketing group, if I can find it though, or let's go ahead and search for it. Uh, and see, this is how you would actually search marketing groups. There you go. I've got one video here. So if I just open up the marketing and that's the video that we just uh, posted to the marketing group. So anyone with, uh, who's got access to the marketing group can get access to that uh, online recording. So that's how you would uh, record and share uh, meeting recordings with wider audience uh, coming only within your organization right if you wanted to share them with outside the organization i've done a, a previous video where you know you upload the video to onedrive uh, download and upload the video to onedrive for business and then share that externally using an external share link thanks for watching this is jag kakarlapuri from the modern work group see you in the next video cheers